Hello everybody and welcome to this FIFA 17 career mode overview um, for all the people that um, are new to FIFA 17 career mode and want to know what improvements they've done, what they've taken away, all the changes, that sort of thing. So, what I'll be going through is comparing it from FIFA 16 to FIFA 17, what they've changed, etc, etc. So, the obvious thing is the look. Now they, uh, it's changed a little bit the way it's laid out. It's pretty much the same though. Uh, I mean, you've got the tabs at the top. Um, um, it'll pretty much look. It all pretty much is the same on each tab. The key difference with this one is the board expectation. Now this is something that they've really focused on in. FIFA. 17 is the board expectations and they give you um to be honest i'm not a great fan of what they've done with the board expectations if i'm honest um and here's why the reason why is because they want you to gain well for example this is my everton career mode okay and they want me to gain 68 million earnings from shirt sales within a season Right now, okay, you'll gain shirt, uh, shirt sales from signing players, playing well, etc., etc. I get that, but as a manager, do I need to be caring about shirt sales? Probably not. You know, probably not. You know, because as long as I'm winning games, I don't care. You know, so. I don't really understand why they've put the shirt sales thing into it. I mean, I guess they've tried to add a bit of realism. In there. But let's, be fa let's face it. You're not going to go to Mourinho and say, Hey, um, you know, I don't care what the fuck you do on the pitch. I want you to get 100 mil million shirt sales. You know, the board is never going to say that. The board is never going to say that. Let's be fair. Let's be fair. So... Yeah, I I personally don't agree with the shirt sales thing that they've added. Okay, but they have made it a little bit harder to um they've made it a little bit harder for you to please the board. For example, now this is where <laughs> if if any Everton fans are watching this video, you're probably gonna. Uh, probably gonna rage a little bit from what I'm about to say, but <laughs> even you will agree that this is an unrealistic target. So I took over Everton, and straight away they've said I need to finish in the Champions League space in the top four. I honestly laughed when I saw that. I mean, Everton's a fairly good team, don't get me wrong, like... They're usually in Europa, okay? Like you could, they usually go up in Europa. That's fine. If that, if that was um, a Europa spot, fair enough. Top four in the first season. Come on, board. Get a bit. Bring yourself down off your high horse, you know. <laughs> um, and then FA Cup reached the semi-final. It's like, whoa. <laughs> First season objectives OP <laughs> But anyway, this is this is what they've done. So basically they've changed everything. Um They've changed like the way the uh, objectives are. Um so I I didn't actually see this short term one. So they want me to qualify qualify for the Euro League, but long term they want me to go into the Oh no, see short term I don't understand that. It says short term qualify to Euro the Euro League. Short term finishing the Champions Cup play place. So on one minute they're saying you just need to qualify for Europa. And the next minute they're saying I need to go into a Champions League space. So I don't actually I uh, don't actually know. But anyway, and what you'll also notice as well is you'll have these this figure that's in the usually in the top uh top left of your screen and that's number. Now I'm number sixty nine. Um, and it basically just is your target. So obviously the lower it is, the worse you're doing. I'm probably getting it at sack soon. Not going to lie. I don't care. 
<laughs> um, but yeah, that that's basically that figure. So you need to make that figure as high as possible, basically. Um, but that'll just rise from winning games and stuff. Um, and such. So that's that's the big change. It's not really a big change, but that's the big thing that they focused on in career mode this year. Is the board expectations. Um, so you're probably thinking that's great. That's not really that's not really a game changer. What else have they have they added? I've got to be honest with you. They haven't added anything else. Um, they really haven't. Everything else is exactly the same. The way the youth system works is exactly the same. You hire the scouts from the this. You pick a decent scout. Um, scout report available. The, the way... Yeah, they've changed it. So the way you view the players is different. So they've just they just basically changed the look and feel. So the potentials on the um the right hand side on the um just where it says uh, his nationality and stuff, you can see his potential. Um, so you can see they're gonna go. So they've kind of improved the way this looks. So you know. Looks a little bit better, nicer, I guess. But it's not really a change. As I say, it's not a game changer. For me, it's... They haven't really done much, to be honest. They, yeah, they... It's not really a game changer, what they've done in career mode. I think this season... This season, I, I'm calling the FIFA's the season. Well, it kind of is, I guess. Um... I think this year they haven't really done much with career mode. I don't think they really put a focus on it. Last year they put a little bit of focus on it, like they've added the training, the development, all that sort of stuff. This year they've kind of come back from career mode and focused more on um, other modes. Um, so yeah, this is career mode. Um, I say. Everything's the same. Everything's the same. Um, if you want my personal opinion, I think it probably could have... I think they should have focused a bit on the youth. Um, youth system. I still think that needs a major improvement. Um, personally, I think... Personally, I think that the youth system is still flawed. I still think the youth youth players that come through are nowhere near as good as the players that you currently like are currently in the um, the current professional players. And I still think there's a bit of a gap between them when you bring them through. Um, so I I would have liked to see some sort of improvement to the youth system. Um, Last year we saw the player development, as I said, and that was a good step towards improving them. But I still think it can go a little bit further. The youth system, um, so I'm a, I'm a little bit disappointed that they didn't go a little bit further. I'm not sure how they would do it further. Um, I just feel at the moment when you get a decent youth player, like a 90 rated youth player, that you think is an absolute gem, never plays like a gem. Um, and you know, it's, uh, disappointing. So, you know, there we go. That's FIFA 17 career mode for you. Anyway, guys, that's my review on it. Um, hope you enjoy the game. Enjoy yourself. Have a wonderful career mode journey. Whichever mode you play on, whether it be ultimate team, career mode, uh, pro clubs, whichever. Have a good time on FIFA 17, guys, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Goodbye.